developed Terra into a character who was one of their teammates. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but I would say that's my least favorite ones, probably one of the newest ones. And that was, uh, the, was it, uh, fatal five oh, justice, justice league, league versus, versus fatal, fatal five. five. I hated that movie. <laughs> like Why? that was one of the movies where I was like, just dumb, <laughs> just dumb. I like the Je- Jessica Cruz Green Lantern though character. Had nothing to do with Jessica Cruz. Okay. I, I I like the fact that they went with the PTSD portion of that. That well, was fine. She has a really that, interesting story. That story in and of itself would have been okay. Um, what sucked just, about it? I, I just didn't enjoy it. I didn't like the villains. I didn't like. I, I was just like I didn't care. I cared. I guess maybe a little bit about the guy that couldn't get his memory and then died. <laughs> Starboy or whatever his yeah, name was. Yeah, I don't even remember that. Yeah, one. it was. It was new. Yeah. It's, yeah. So he, it's the like Legionnaires. It introduces old. the Legionnaires into that story because they're I, from the yeah. Yeah, because they're from the future and yeah. the, the, these. He Fatal dies? Five. That I don't, sucks. Yeah, well, I haven't seen that one. Fuck. Spoiler alert. Sorry. <laughs> I um, like the Legion. Um, but see, well, they they all come to pay homage and they meet Jessica Cruz and it's a all a real awesome tear jerking moment, I guess. Uh, the, the characters, especially the the villains, I thought were just the worst. It was like, this well, is the worst group of villains I've ever seen in my life. I thought it was the same group of villains that, that they send, that Black Hand Mask sends after them in the Batman Under the Red Hood. But they're the Furious Hand of Four or something. I don't think, no, not at all. It's not, not the all. same villain. But No, these are villains from... I think and then the Fatal Five, the Fatal Five yeah. from Legion. They're from Le- the future. Yeah, from the Legionnaires. I'm sorry, I keep saying Legion, but Legionnaires. So they're from that future time, and they come back here. And I but don't they're know, just like not the girl enough. with the emerald power that was sort of like Green Lantern, but she used the battery. I don't know. And I think there's an actual story. I think that this is based on a comic. Um, I believe it is. Or at least pieces of it. I know that it's based on the characters but, of Fatal Five, and maybe they took. Well, I know Jessica Cruz has a cruel story, and I want to recommend this, the Forever Evil, and I've been rec- trying to recommend this Trinity War, and then it leads into this storyline called Forever Evil. Um, it's really cool. She yeah has that PTS, and she basically the from Earth Three, the evil version. You know, like we talked about Crisis on Two Earths, the evil version of um, Green Lantern Power Ring. Is basically an evil monster. It's like an evil this monster that leaves, lives inside the ring, know. and she can control it. And then they, she becomes a Green Lantern, who was an army vet that went through like some PTSD. Yeah, I, I don't mind Jessica Cruz as a character. Okay. In fact, as far she's as cool, Green Lanterns go, she's probably got more of a personality than Hal Jordan actually does. Um, if John you go Stewart. back into the, you know, the what people. People Again, like before, John Stewart. People do like John Stewart. I don't really like John um, I, Some people like Kyle Rayner. I like Kyle Rayner. As do I. Um, and I think that's one of the more interesting choices to have somebody, if you're going to have 17 humans be the Green Lantern, <laughs> um, I would take the guy that's the most creative. Yeah. Um, because he's going to be able to make some awesome constructs. Yeah. yeah. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, I, I, I again, I think it was just I didn't buy into the story. I, it was just like never was I emotionally connected to any of it other than the guy dying at the end. And that was sad a little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's uh, all. I only have one name, Jonah Hex. And that was, oh, that, that was short. Horrible. Yeah, <laughs> that was I, I wasn't counting that because that would be my favorite, <laughs> like one not to ever watch again. <laughs> OK, a little now, short where he gets stuck in the well. Yeah, well, now let me let or me stuck in the ground. It's not that bad. Let me throw another deal in there. Okay. What animated movie would you most like to see? Just real quick, just like Ooh. like one storyline that you would like to see in as DC an storyline yeah. in this DC animated. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, well, I just hope they would. I'm um, just before we while we think of our answers, I just hope they would focus less on Superman and Batman. Yeah, and and I think lately they have been doing that. I know they're coming out with another Wonder Woman one. Right, they're coming out with another Batman one. Even though Hush is a cool storyline. They're gonna still use the same Batman that's been used before. I I miss said his name before, but it's a uh, Jason something. Is it Jason O'Mara? Jason O'Mara. O'Mara. Yep, Jason O'Mara. So he's been doing it since Justice League War. Um, I don't know. I just hope you kind of. Th- I don't know. What What do you guys think? What would be one that you would want to see an animated one? Ooh. I'm guessing that Brock's gonna say either the Spectre or Swamp Thing. Nope. 
Because no. I would like to see a, one, another one Swamp no, Thing. No, those would be cool, but Kingdom Come. Oh, oh yeah. Are you yes. shitting That's me, a, dude? They've again. talked about that, actually. Yeah, yeah. Sure Kingdom yeah. Come would be one of the best adaptations for an animated movie. I'm not going to say anything better than that. I, that I Kingdom Come there. literally could... They could do a full TV show about it, like a 10-issue or a 12... A 12... Eight, um, eight episodes. It, Maybe if they if they did twelve episodes, just like a every month type of a deal, and then put them all together at the end, and then just make them thirty to forty five minutes a piece. I hate you as oh. much as I pe- hate the people that made that a two parter, dude. <laughs> yeah. A month? Yeah. God, I got to make a month for would, an episode. Yeah, what the hell? Yeah, I don't know. It would be just something be, cool on the DC streaming app. Yeah, know? it would be. It, I what? think just like the. Just like the comics, it should be a week though. Every Friday, yeah. 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 If, if yeah, they did it over that. twelve weeks, yeah. yeah. But you could, you could, because um, then you're God. knocking it out in a season of whatever, you know. There's like three so, months. yeah. There's you're so many yeah. things in that book would make awesome for it. Well, and I wish they would. Every go characters off. in it, they should go off in some of the tangent sides, like. Uh, um, but you could build on it, man. You could build on it, like Magog. You could have yeah. a Magog movie, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Um, for maybe I'm saying his name wrong, but no, 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 I mean I, that story is Magog. fucking. Even if, even if they Magog. did that, even if they did a Magog movie, to where literally he goes and he's wiping out all the Supermans throughout the timelines, just like he did in that comic. Yeah, that would Kingdom. be fucking awesome too. Yeah. Um, there's just I think there's a lot that you could play with that, and but you could really stay close to the source again. I mean, because the, the book is awesome. It looks great. I think that's a good one, man. Oh, man. I, mean, I, I don't think I could top that one. I think if I were going to do one, I know everybody wants to steer away from Superman and Batman. Um, I would like to see Battle for the Cow. Um, I thought that was a great storyline. I really yeah, enjoyed it. Yeah, that could be it. cool. Um, if they did it, you know. They kind of did that with Bad Blood, though. Yeah, but that was terrible. Well, that's probably that their adaptation of it. No, I'm sorry about that. That's their <laughs> fucking fault. <laughs> Douchebags. Um, you can't. I guess you can't make every movie great, though. You know what I mean? Because they've done a great job. I, I give DC animated yeah. movies all the props in the world. Um, they're the, uh, in my opinion, the best company as far as putting out any sort of animated. For movies. sure. Yeah. Um, Marvels. Uh, Marvels are mostly Marvel's terrible. Uh, so I enjoyed uh, the Ultimate Avengers first movie. The first yeah. one. Yeah. 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 The second one was garbage. Well, it, um, the second one was all right. No, it was, it was garbage. That, that animation was worse. Yeah. Um, they added yeah, why, some CGI. yeah, why was it so bad? I don't know. It's like yeah. the same thing. No, 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 it no. wasn't. <laughs> the, the, the pacing the, oh, the was different. Part. They, they it, it, There was a lot yeah. di- wrong The one where Giant movie. Man dies. Was that part two? Yeah, yeah that's yeah, what yeah, we're talking yeah, about. Yeah. 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 I just didn't, I think the it seemed rushed, I guess. I don't know. It did seem rushed. Yeah. Well, see, well, the wasn't first part. When Captain America was fighting Hydra was like the coolest part. Yes, and then yeah. he kills it, and, and the one dude like, and he reels the it. Kaiser or whatever his yeah. name is. Yeah. He reels, he's a, I don't know if his name is Kaiser, but he's a fucking uh, Nazi. So who cares? <laughs> Nazis. Uh, no, I, I mean there, there's I, I, Marvel has the money to make very well, they, great ones. And that's ones, probably going to change. But maybe that was they're going to. Uh, well, but think about this though. Warner Brothers already has. DC and Warner Brothers have a relationship, and Warner Brothers mm-hmm. has an animation division that's solid, so they have a, a DC relationship DC's, in the anime. They, uh, they just have DC's a good relationship. owned by Warner Brothers. Mm-hmm. I know. Which is owned by AT&T. Uh-oh. Right. <laughs> but I'm saying that Marvel tried that in 2006. I'm saying now, with Disney behind them, yeah. they can do that if they want. And but I think why would they have the... And I think if you see yeah, it, it's going to be on one of their streaming services. Yeah. They'll put it on... Well, we've already seen the one that's coming out on Hulu. The, the Howard the Duck. Well, it's like th- four, three or four. Yeah, different they're gonna shows. do the Halstrom, Howard the Duck, yeah. and like a Deadpool one. Yeah, and they're gonna do. You know, they have. Aren't they doing Guardians Modoc of... or, or yeah. something yeah. crazy Mo- like that? Yeah, yeah. Modoc. They have a. They have a it's weird <laughs> <laughs> that you would choose Modoc <laughs> on huh? Disney XD. They have like a Guardians of the Galaxy series yeah, but that's, and an Avengers series. I, I'm not gonna watch those. I know because, because they look. Terrible. Yeah. Right. They don't look good. To me <laughs> no, no, no. It's got to, it's and, the art's got to dry in. And if you're going to do it, you're going to, I, in my opinion, if you're going to do it, you're going to do it with different stories than what they're doing. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? What's it almost, doesn't have to be MCU. Yeah. It's your animated. Yeah. Let's make it but, based on the comics. 
You know what what's I mean? Cool, I wanna... What's cool is that Marvel has the Marvel Cinematic Universe, mm-hmm. and then DC's got the the DC Animated Universe. They have been building their DC Animated Universe. Since Which is cool, because it's two Justice separate League entities, and thing. then you have a way that you can enjoy both of their stories. And but unfortunately, most of them are it. Batman movies. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then you have like the two Superman movies, and then the rest are Justice League movies, which... I don't even know if that Justice League versus I mean, the Fatal got, Five is is it has a different style. Is yeah, is that even? I just I don't even know. I in the continuity the, as Batman Hush and stuff. I probably I don't know. It was Hush, terrible. I'm looking forward to. I am looking forward to. Hush. You can watch it right now on the streaming service. Is it? I I mean I was looking for it the other day. I just I guess I overlooked it. I think it also would be cool is Maybe if they I did the what we were talking about. I think we've mentioned this before. I don't know if it was on the podcast. Would be like a um, Batman Venom to Batman. Um, well, Nightfall, Batman Prey to Batman Venom, um, and then to Nightfall. I would probably even if you got a chance to do that, great. But Ooh. that's a great story in and of yeah. itself. Yeah. That's gonna be um, cool. I would do where um, he gets addicted to the Venom and becomes yeah. stronger and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I think we yeah, did yeah. talk about that. That yeah. would be cool. I, you could do that in like two different movies and kind of like yeah. they release them. You know, yeah. I would do maybe two different movies or three or one if you. I guess if you had to, whatever. But I would do the. The Animal Man Swamp Thing crossover from from uh, yeah. the New Fifty Two, the New Fifty Two, the Rot. It would be Rot World. So yeah. essentially, yeah. yeah, it'd be just a lot of cool animations with rotting stuff. And if yeah, they, they stuck could to get it, dark with it. Yeah, man, you know? and you could make basically make it about Swamp Thing and Buddy and his family. And it, oh man, it could be really cool. Yeah, because that I I just uh, I'm gonna finish the last one of the Rot World. I just got it the other day from How High. Um. So. Um, it's cool, dude. Yeah, no, I mean, I, that that kind of a movie, yeah, automatically you thought, oh, yeah, Brock's going to say Swamp Thing. Right? Well, it'd be cool if you <laughs> just made it rated R. And Did, did you see Constantine uh, City of Demons? Yes. What'd you think? Not I mean, bad. Yeah, I thought not it was bad. really good. Yeah, I thought it was your dark, yeah. you know. How, it's, it's not I thought it was the animation yeah. style. I thought, it was, I thought yeah. everything about it was great. It was, it was more like Justice League Dark. Yeah, yeah, okay. um, and okay. it was, and and then again, you kind of get into more of the the macabre side. I would yeah. like to see a full on, I don't know, like Doctor Fate or the Spectre, yes. kind of more. Doctor Fate would be pretty awesome, yeah. you know. Um, that but would not be. the new Doctor Fate where it's like a kid, like the old one. Did, yeah. Did you watch um, Young Justice at all? Um, I watched like the first like 10 or 12 episodes so did you see the dr fate arc i think so Where's but i Zatanna's can't remember off father the zatara becomes dr fate after, but before that they have to go find dr fate and it's I the saw, original dr fate or is it in like a lighthouse or yeah. Something? yeah 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 that was actually really good i could see him doing a dr fate movie um animated movie the only thing with dr fate is i don't think when he's dr fate you have a lot of connection to that character right. he's very above everything you know what i mean um, so there's not a lot of character to his character. Now, as the human portion of him, that's obviously different. But you'd really have to play off that dichotomy. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm interested to see where they're going. A good film. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I, I think that. Um, I think he plays better in a group. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. For sure. <laughs> sorry. <to laughs> sorry. I keep walking. No, yeah. I keep talking. <laughs> sorry. I'm into getting things. <laughs> crazy here, but I know that they're doing. You know. Um, there's a the Wonder Woman Bloodlines and then Batman Hush and I think there's another one that's been announced but I can't. That's the only two I can think of okay. off the top of my head Maybe. that I know that are out there right now. But what's cool is they've been doing three a year for a while now. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm they saying? They've been so, consistently good too. So they are and they are branching out with things like Suicide Squad, Hell to Pay, and even this new Fatal Five one. They're trying to. They're definitely trying to bring in some other characters, which yeah, is cool. Like Mr. Terrific was in there, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> You know, that's I, cool. Well, you know, you know they did they did the Adam West ones too. Um, the oh, they Batman versus Batman. Two Face, and, yeah. and they they did two of those. Those are like the Batman versus Scooby Doo. or Yeah, something. I don't know. Batman sixty six. It's, it's yeah. kind of they're kind of weird too because I tried to watch uh, the Batman Two Face one. Right. It was kind of like eh, didn't eh, they make a really Batman Mister Freeze one too or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was it's called Sub Zero. It's yeah. like a spin off of the mm-hmm. animated series. Yeah, Monster Mayhem. <laughs> Those yeah, were other that's ones. That's more like the Scooby Doo <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah. Monster yeah. Mayhem and Animal Instinct. Where he's were... riding a T Rex. Those shit. are the two where I'm like, yeah. I'm not going to ever watch Well, I think those. they made a toy line, and then yeah, they're like, course. let's make these animated movies yeah. to represent the toy line to yeah, sell, sell, sell this to people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> buy our toys at Walmart. Um, but that's every company is going to do that. Let's yeah. see. Yeah, what other ones were there? I, I don't. Again, 
Superman There's... Unbound. Uh, I just read the uh... Jeff Johns comic book with the art by Gary Frank. It's uh, it's about Brainiac. It's actually it's called Superman Brainiac. Just read that graphic novel, like that that trade paperback. What about a Legion animated movie? They did do uh, a Legion animated series with Superman and the Legion of Superheroes but for just, three seasons, but just short seasons. Just a Legion, Legion animated. of Superheroes. No, just Legion. The old school like space something. I I, I don't know much about them, hmm, but that's I'm where Lobo familiar. came into. You know, that was Legionnaires. Well, I, I, was I thought that? it was just Legion. I don't think so. Um, that maybe was, you're right. 